little parasite communes with Lysel's. Her heart races as she learns of the events inside the astral prison. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. It is not the Gaith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Vos would set free. It is Orpheus, the blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. And even more powerful still. It said he could bring a thousand Githyanki to their knees with one command. Listen close. The Emperor spoke only in half-truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Vlakith. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons, Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith I. It was Kithrak Vos himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle, or so the Varshis teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us, subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. The seed and the sower. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies, and the living weapon that conquered our gay slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. If the Githyank here to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. What about him? The historical slates describe Orpheus as a fearsome, terrible creature, powerful beyond measure and enthralled by the Geich. So mad with power, he'd smash through the Githyanki Empire and deliver the shards to his illithid masters. And glowing with such psionic force that he and his red dragon blazed a trail through the skies. A lethal comet careening towards my people. Lies, of course. Vlakith spread a false image of Orpheus as monstrous betrayer, and her knights as the butchers who sliced him through. She was right to fear him, I'll grant her that. So great is the comet, it could shatter her reign. The Emperor may be loathsome, but it's right. Orpheus can disrupt a gay hive mind. A talent like that makes the Prince a powerful shield and a powerful weapon. Why destroy a weapon like that, when you can contain it in a relic and keep it for yourself? A weapon is only an asset for as long as it isn't pointed at you. The means of Vlakith's own end has been ripped away from her. Better to have Orpheus killed than to risk his escape. Better to risk the rise of Illithids than let the Prince of the Comet deny her the godhood she craves. Orpheus is honor guard, loyal to the end. Trapped by Vlakith in the same prism holding their noble prince, fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him. They see us as Geich, tadpoled husks in the Emperor's thrall. I regret their deaths. But I pledge to live as they perished, in the service of Gith's son.